Let's start with problems one through three. Okay, so on problem one, it says two tenths plus six tenths. So here's how we're going to do it. First thing I want you to do is get decimals all the way down on this. Not yet. Not yet. Just it's on your paper. Okay. Then I want you to put two tenths down plus six more tenths. Am I adding tenths plus tenths? That's the first thing I need to look at. Yesterday we talked about this. Apples, and oranges, and bananas. That's correct. So if I'm adding apple, two apples plus six apples, what, what am I going to have? Eight apples. Eight apples. But instead I'm going to write eight tenths. The apples just sort of help us think about it. Now I want you to rewrite it in standard form with the decimal. So how will I write eight tenths? Zero point zero eight. Point eight. Yeah. eight. Okay, the next one. So two ones. So do you see this next set of boxes? That's where I'm working, okay? So two ones and three thousandths. Six ones. And one thousandths. Now, on this one, am I adding apples plus apples here and here? No. Yeah, I am. Okay. And am I adding bananas plus bananas? Yes. Okay. So, this is pretty simple to add, isn't it? Let's start with unit form. Okay? So, how many ones do I have? Uh, eight. eight. Eight ones. And how many thousandths do I have? Uh, Four. Four. Four thousandths. You don't need the word and or anything there. Now this is the part they want you to kind of mess up on because you, they they want you to just put eighty four down, but it's not eighty four. It's eight zero zero zero. Eight point zero zero four. Elizabeth, how do you say that in standard form? Eight and four thousandths. Good. Okay. So sometimes, boys and girls, you will have to fill in the blank spots with zeros, okay? All right, let's go to the next slide. And get your decimal between the ones and the tenths place. This is a little different, okay? So on this one, I'm going to put one, one, and eight tenths. Now on eight tenths, I'm going to remind you what something looks like from the younger years. This is called a tens frame. Oh yeah. And oh, notice that it's five and three. So that's how I like to put my dots on my place value chart, just like it would be on a tens frame. So we can look at it and quickly see what it is. Okay. Then I'm adding 13 tenths. So go ahead and put 13 all in one box. 5 plus 5 plus 3. Yes? I said we're going to the next slide. Okay, so now. What's that called? I do that when I have more than nine. Bundle. You bundle. You bundle. Okay. So how many will I bundle? Ten. Ten. And when I bundle, one. it goes over, over to the next four. place value. So you should have one hundred or two hundred. I should move two over to the ones place. So I should have three ones and one tenth left. So I would put three ones, one tenth, and how do I write that in standard form? 3.01. Do you have any places between that you would need to put a zero? No. So it's just 3.1, okay? All right, so the next set of lines. Let's look at it again. 
I have 100 and 8 hundredths. Then I have two ones and four hundredths. So when I add this up, look at the board for a minute, boys and girls. I'm going to have 100. How many tens will I have? Uh, zero. Zero. How many ones? Two. two. Uh, uh oh. Is that more than nine? Yes. So I have to bundle. You leave one out. Okay. So I've got 100, zero tens, two ones, one tenth, two hundredths. Let's write that in standard form. Mm -hmm. So in standard form, it is 102 and 12 hundredths. Now, how many of you would like to quit drawing dots? Me. Good. Me, Me too. Please. So this next one, I'm let's put numbers in. Bad at dots. You are confused? I don't know why. The only thing different about this from fourth grade is there's a decimal. Nothing else has changed. Actually, probably since second grade. So 148 thousands. How do I know where to write that? Because of the placement. The eight goes in the thousands. Very good. Okay. Where do I put the seven? One. one. Okay, go down to the next row. We're adding here. Thirteen thousandths. The three goes in what place? Thousands. Value? Thousands. Good. What do I fill in with here, Arturo? Zero. 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 So now we can use this place underneath and add it up. Did I make any mistakes? Nope. Did you see where I regrouped my one? Yeah. Okay. So my answer here Wait, no. is seven and you put seven six and instead of five. Well, I regrouped yeah, my one. Oh, yeah. I didn't see the one. 161,000. Go ahead and put your decimal three place values from the right. So, so this is for for use when you get confused, okay? And for today, because we're going to talk about how to use it and put things on it, okay? Right. So, the first problem I want you to put on your place value chart. Well graphic organizer is 74 hundredths plus 59 hundredths. And you don't need to add zeros. But you can't. Okay. So go ahead and write a plus sign there. Now, here's what I want you to notice. See this right here, this line? It's a little fatter than the rest of them. Yeah. That's like the equal sign. What do you think? I made it up myself. Now all I have to do is add it up and I have my answer. Okay? So, 4 plus 9. 13. Regroup at the top. Okay, you don't have to help me add. I don't have to help you add. We all know how to add, don't we? Okay. So that answer to the first problem. Is 100. 1 and. Hundreds. Okay. Take a look at the third problem down. Skip. Lorenzo, are you with me? Yep. Skip the second one. Okay. So the third problem down. Read it off to me, Lorenzo. Okay. Okay, so here's my problem. Uh, no. Next 
That's what he just told me. Okay, so can you just keep your comments to yourself? Okay, we're all right. We're all right. So up here, what do you think I need to do? Pull it. Put, put a zero a sign. A zero. Okay. She, she was just thinking, what's she going to ask next? Okay, now, why do you think I filled in with that zero? To get so it, you make can, it easier. To, so you can understand that it's a zero. Uh, um, it's nothing. So you understand the thing, so you don't go, what's wrong with nothing? You, that could be one reason. <laughs> That's not the main reason, though. So you don't oh, you, so Wait, I have to take the uh, It's answer. not nothing about math, so I'll tell you that. Okay, all right. Why do you think I'm filling in with a zero up there, Addy? Because you, need, you can't add seven to nothing. Well, it's yeah. this zero right here I'm talking oh, about. Oh, it's because, it's because you need to add the four with something. Yeah, but I can just bring the four down. I know I can just bring the four down. Why am I filling in with a zero? Oh, Alex? Because um, you, I oh, think never, you might move it over to you might accidentally put it in the wrong place value. Watch this. Now this is a sloppy person writing. But let's just say you wrote it like this. Well, let's say you wrote it like... Uh, no, already. Uh, no. Nope. Because you were trying to line up all these digits to the right. Nope. What's yeah. wrong with that, boys and girls? It's, um, it's because you're adding it in the line. Line. Yeah, the decimal the is first in line. Thing you have to put up Okay, raise your hand. McKenna. The decimals have to be in, in a straight line. They do. So, so let me get this straight. You're telling me I need to line up my decimals? And yes. not the number. And not the number. Not the and, digits. And should I line up my decimals before I ever start? Yes. 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 I should. Just like we practiced on the place value chart before. So the first thing you need to do is get your decimals on, then put the digits in the correct place value. So we're not lining up numbers. We're lining up place values. Got it? Got it. Okay. So now it's easy to add. The last thing I care about is the answer. I care that you're following the same strategy I've asked you to follow. Okay? All right. Fist to five. Pretty simple? Okay. Let's take that place value chart and use it less. So here's what I want to show you. Okay? The next problem. Oh, are we out of problem? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, then we'll practice using the place value chart less when we get to the problem set. Okay? So here's what I want you to do. 